All right, guys, Kettle Boy 32 here. Check it out, man. What do we got here? Well, this is a pistol caliber carbine from a company called the Armorer's Locker. This is their XPCC series, the AL 9mm SM, chambered in 9mm. Cool thing about it is it uses Glock mags. These happen to be, hell, I don't even know. This is uh, the KOI. These are those other ones. So let's go ahead and do some more shooting out uh, here. We're sitting at about, I don't know, 15, 20 yards. Just having a good old field day with this thing. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> All right. So one of the things that sets this guy apart from a lot of the other PCs, he's, is it does have last round hold open. Didn't do it on me like there, but I probably have more of a feeling it has a little bit to do with that magazine. All right, so let's talk about this guy. Uh, uses the, again, nine millimeter standard Glock magazine. It weighs six pounds, nine ounces. Set light, nah, you know, competition rifles can be anywhere from six to five pounds, five and a half, six pounds. Uh, really cool deal is that it has a matched upper and lower receiver made of the 7025 T6 Ford, uh, type three, class two anodized hard coat. So why don't we do this? We're gonna go over some of the visible details of this thing, and I'm gonna tell you why this guy's a little bit different. And I'm also gonna explain to you why, hey, it might be a little bit more than your typical pistol caliber carbine. First things people always ask me, why a pistol caliber carbine? Well, I'm gonna tell you something. I got a lot of friends of mine who shoot three gun, except they shoot in pistol caliber carbine division. Uh, also, you have USPSA. I'm gonna tell you something, these things, are an absolute blast. One of the things that I use a pistol caliber carbine for is to demonstrate lights, lasers, and things of that nature. Let's see here. Ooh, that was a lot of fun. All right, so what do we got? Well, you got the uh, Mission First Tactical. This is, and this is no stranger to my channel, this is their lightweight competition style, uh, what do you call it, classical stock. I like these things because you can carry them like that. So if you're carrying them in a match, you can walk around like that. All right, then we're backed up. You've got a Magpul MOE grip. It also has an exposed hole so you can utilize the Teflon. Let's see here, got a round in that chamber. Let's go ahead and dump it. There we go. But you can utilize the Teflon screw that's located right there. You guys can see that. All right, and what's that meant to do is you can tighten that upper and lower receiver to eliminate any kind of wobble. Those are always a plus. Like those in some rifles that I'm gonna shoot long range, not so much in my competition or a duty style weapon because, well, if you got that thing tightened down, a lot of times it's hard to get that thing broken apart. If you've got a malfunction where you gotta actually break the gun down, well, you're gonna have problems dealing with that. Otherwise, you're gonna like this. <laughs> okay. We do have an ambidextrous safety controls right here. You've got the uh, anti-walt pins from KNN, KN guys. But one of the cool things, and it is well worth its while, is this guy right here, the single stage Timmy trigger. I love these guys. You know I like Timmy triggers. I use them in a lot of my rifles. This is set up for the pistol caliber carbine. Uh, also, a couple things that I have noticed is that you've got strike industry paddle release right here for your bolt release as well as my bleeding no takedown pins and those are from the good old boys over there at strike industries now in <laughs> charging handle is the bcm gunfighter i believe this is a mod 5. not a big fan of these guys i like the old ones when they were uh when they were together with the veltor folks but you, they are a good good charging handles good quality Let's see, what else do we have? It's topped off with an aim point, who, by the way, let me give a big, huge thanks out to uh, my good man, X-Ring, who provided this guy for the review. Now, the bolt carrier is produced by the good folks over there at Faxon. It is a nitride finish. Guys, I'm not gonna take this thing apart. You know what they look like. They're spring-loaded. One of the things also I failed to mention is that you can order these as well with a hyperfire. Be careful with the hyperfire, bald and curious. If you uh, feel like the day you want to bump fire nine millimeter because that firing pin is spring loaded, there is the chance that you will send a round down range or it might not even make it down range before that thing goes into battery. 
it'll blow out the bottom. Here, let's go ahead, a couple more. Man, that's a lot of fun. Let me tell you something. Okay, so here's the important parts that I want to talk to you guys about. This handguard, look at this thing. Ooh, pretty. It does have a nice little area right here. This is called the Venom, and I believe this is manufactured by the good folks over there at the Armorer's Locker. We're topped off with an Air Precision VG6 muzzle brake, and if I had to guess, I'm gonna say that that barrel is made by the good guys over there at Rainier. This is a nine millimeter match grade barrel. Let's see something else here. Hold on. You know me, I'm gonna tear a rifle apart. Oops, don't lose that part. Uh, some of these do come with the, what looks to be like, oh, what is those guys? Uh, I can't remember the name of the, uh, what's that hydraulic thing? The Ken shot, looks like a Ken shot. But these guys right here. Now, here's the deal. This rifle retails on their web. Hold on, I'll be right back. Don't worry, X-Ring cleans his guns like a champ. So anyway, if you go over to their website, this particular pistol caliber carbine, well, she retails for just a tad over $1,400. I'm going to tell you something. That's a lot of money. However, when you start comparing this to, say, uh, the JP, it's just a little bit more than you would spend probably on Palmetto State Armory. Matter of fact, probably twice as much. But it's about half as much as you're going to spend on a GMR from JP. Now, what does that give you? It gives you last round hold open. It gives you a great, reliable, and accurate rifle. Hold on one second. Here we go. Oh, you bastard. It gives you a fun rifle. Recoil mitigation on this thing, you don't even hardly feel it. Of course, a lot of people say nine millimeter, you really shouldn't, but believe it or not, nine millimeter actually does do, well, quite a bit of recoil. Let's take a look at the uh, trigger squeeze as well as we'll take a look at the muzzle and the muzzle rise and recoil back and forth stuff. Stand by, here we go. All right, so I almost feel like we're doing a Timmy Trigger commercial. <laughs> You guys have seen me do reviews on that. So anyway, here's the beautiful side of this thing. You can see the Strike Industries paddle release, the k and or k and uh, k and uh, anti-roll pin collector thingamajigabobs, and that beautiful, look at the, whoever makes those. I think I'm going to get me some. But let's go ahead and pop that down. Let's take a look at the trigger that you can get on this thing. Also, again, you can get it with the Hyperfire. There we go. Look at that. Very nice. Let's take a look at that muzzle brake. All right, so here we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this thing really hard. There we go. That's a great muzzle brake. A lot of people have asked me about the VG6 muzzle brake. Uh, putting those on some of my other competition rifles, I might have to do that. Take a look at that handguard. It's got that weld out area, very nice. Fluted barrel, stainless steel, 14, 6, 416 stainless steel, and it is bead blasted. Really cool. Very nice looking rifle. Also, I want to point out that this guy right here, the mag release, is CNC aluminum, which is a very nice touch compared to, say, the polymers. I'm glad to see manufacturers actually going with that these days. That's fun. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it, man. The Armors Locker. This is their 9mm PCC. They do have a full lineup of other rifles. Uh, armorslocker.com. I can't put it down below, but it's armorslocker.com. Very nicely done, guys. One of the things I'd like to point out is you do have key mod sections right here. So if you wanted to put attachments on there, like a uh, attachment for QD. A lot of some of the times you're going to be finding out you're going to sling these things. We're going to be bringing them around. We're going to be going at it like that. But that's it. Uh, thanks to X-Ring for sending this out to the channel for testing. And I will tell you this, man. 
I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. It's Kettle Boy 32. Guys, if you like this video, it's been a while since I've actually done any kind of factory rifle review. Re 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 review. Re review. I can't even say it. Anyway, it's been a while since I've done that kind of thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this thing. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Don't forget about the Patreon thing. Uh, we do a giveaway once a month over there. Uh, just to thank those guys for helping to support the channel. Uh, we did a reapplication for uh, monetization, and uh, hopefully we'll see if that comes back. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, guys, we always end it like this. God bless America. God bless his men. Women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. Go to War 32. I'm out. And I'm talking about those guys who defend our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. Y'all be good. Take care. Jack and Patter. It's awesome. <laughs>